Hi, Ike. Thank you for the stream and thank you for the super. May I ask, how do you speak orange and strawberry in Swedish? Okay, so let, let's move this. Okay, so first of all, we have strawberry. Strawberry is... Jordgubbe. It's really funny because if you translate these words by themselves, like these two, Jord, uh, Jord means earth. Like, uh, you know, like earth that you have, like, find in the ground. And Gubbe is like a way of saying, like, old man. So it's like an, <laughs> an earth geezer. <laughs> That's kind of what it is. Earth geezer. But yeah, strawberry is Jordgubbe in Swedish. And for orange, as in the fruit, not the color. At least I don't. At least I think they're talking about the fruit. Uh, orange is apelsin. It's kind. Of, it sounds a little bit similar similar to apple, I guess. But yeah, apelsin. That, that's how you say uh, the fruit. And if uh, and if you're talking about like the color orange, it's the it's written the same, but it's pronounced orange. How do you say apple? It's almost the same. It's just pronounced eple. Instead of apple, it's eple. How would you? How, how would be orange juice? You just add juice to the end. Apelsin juice. Oh yeah, we don't say juice, we say juice. Swedish pronunciation is a little bit funny, yeah. But yeah, that's a little bit of Swedish for you for the day. <laughs> How to say, <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Oh, you mean in Swedish? Hmm, how would you say that? Let's see, bring this up. I didn't sign up for this. My famous, my famous line. <laughs> in Swedish, I think I would say, hmm, here's what I would say. I didn't sign up for this. In Swedish, jag ställde inte upp på det här. What? Sing? Sing? Oh, sing? Ah! Machigata! Mm. <laughs> I didn't sing up for this. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I didn't sing up for this. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's such a blunder. Did you know that uh, apple used to mean fruit in Old English? I did not know that. Uh, thank you, uh, Sasha, for the super. 